now I will teach you how to complete the square kasi yun yung essence ng ating topic for today so paano ba mag complete ng square ngayon i-observe natin itong mga given na expression we have x squared minus 14x and then may ilalagay tayo ditong number y squared plus 20y and then may blanco m squared minus 5m and then another blank ngayon kapag naglagay tayo dito ng number they will be trinomials and not just a trinomial kailangan maging perfect square trinomial sila ngayon ano yung ilalagay nating number dito para maging perfect square trinomial itong given we have x squared minus 14x plus again anong number ang ilalagay natin dito para maging perfect square trinomial Bibigyan ko kayo ng dalawang steps para mas madali nyong malaman kung ano yung number na ilalagay. The first step is to divide the middle term by 2. Pag sinabi kong divide the middle term by 2, we're not going to include the variable. So, ang ating um, gagamitin lang ay yung numerical coefficient. So, that is the first step. After dividing by 2, we are going to square the answer. Ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung naging sagot natin after natin i-divide by 2, we are going to square that. At yun yung magiging number na dapat ilagay natin dito para maging perfect square trinomial yung given na expression. Let's try the first example. We have x squared minus 14x plus first step, divide by 2, the middle term, Negative 14 divided by 2 is negative 7. And negative 7 squared, because that is our second step, so the answer will be 49. Again, 14 or negative 14 divided by 2, negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. So the answer here is 49. Next, y squared plus 20y plus, so anong i-add natin? Again, first step, 20 divided by 2, which is 10. Second step, square the answer, 10 squared is 100. So the answer here is 100. The last example, we have m squared minus 5m plus. Ngayon kung mapapansin nyo, yung 5 is not divisible by 2. Kasi kung i-divide natin siya by 2, magkakaroon tayo ng decimal. Ang gagawin natin, when we divide it by 2, just let it be over 2. So step number 1, so it will be 5 divided by 2. So, hayaan nyo muna siya naka-fraction form. After that, we're going to square it. So, step number 2 is to square the answer. So, how to square a fraction? So, 5 over 2 squared. So, we are just going to square the numerator and then square also the denominator. So, 5 squared is 25 and 2 squared is 4. And that will be our answer here. So 25 over 4. In completing the square, remember it is always positive. So never po tayo magkakaroon ng minus 49, minus 100, or minus 25 over 4. So it is always positive. Lagi po siyang add. Kasi pag kumukuha naman tayo ng square, ng isang number, it is always in positive. Now, after nating makomplete yung square, so let's try to factor. I-factor natin siya to make sure na ito ay perfect square trinomial. Kasi nga ang ating goal dito, when we say complete the square, we are going to make the expression a perfect square trinomial. So ano ba ang sagot dito? We have 14 
or negative 14 ang sum and then ang product niya ay 49. We have here minus 7 and then minus 7. Because negative 7 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 14. Negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. Next, we have y plus 10, y plus 10. 10 plus 10 equals to 20, 10 times 10 is equal to 100. Okay, here, medyo parang magiging mahirap sa mga student kung kukunin natin yung sum neto na kapag pinag-add mo ay 5 and then kapag pinag-multiply mo ay 25 over 4. Itong technique na ituturo ko sa inyo is only applicable kapag perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, itong technique na ituturo ko is for this particular topic lang. Paano ma-factor ma nyo ng mas mabilis? Dahil alam naman natin na ito ay perfect square trinomial, all you have to do is to get the square root of the constant. So, ano ba ang square root ng 25 over 4? So, to get the square root of 25 over 4, we just have to get the square root of 25 and then square root of 4. We have here minus 5 over 2 because the square root of 25 is 5 and then the square root of 4 is 2 and then minus 5 over 2. Sir, hindi po ba pag lagi tayong kumukuha ng square root ay laging positive at negative? but hindi po na-apply dito? Okay, explain ko yan. Ngayon, another technique na ibibigay ko sa inyo Paano malalaman kung positive or negative ang ilalagay dito? Kung ano yung sign ng middle term, so yun din yung magiging sign ng factor for the perfect square trinomial lang. Therefore, kinuha natin yung square root neto, so that will be 5 over 2, 5 over 2. Dahil negative yung middle term, so negative din yung ilalagay natin. So yun po yung technique. So kaya kung mapapansin nyo dito, so, ang square root ng 49 ay 7. So, kaya yun po yung naging factor natin. And, ang middle term natin ay negative. So, mas madali po yun. Ang square root ng 100 ay 10. At ang middle term natin ay positive, kaya naging positive. Again, we can still simplify this by writing x minus 7 squared this one will be y plus 10 squared m minus 5 over 2 squared and that's how you complete the square and at the same time we factor it already